The transfers keep on coming here as it's the 16th of July and Alex Cochran is one of a few players we're going to discuss today as Birmingham City have signed the fullback. Welcome back to the channel. Strap in, there's a few players to get through, but Birmingham City in the third tier of English football have signed the big man. They have signed Alex Cochran. And it just, it really makes you wonder, Troops, like, what is going on here? You've got a team in the third tier of English football signing a player from the third best team in Scotland. I think if that doesn't sum up the state of affairs in Scottish football, then I'm not too sure what will. Now, Birmingham City have made their fifth summer signing by completing the transfer of Alex Cochrane from Hearts of Midlothian for an undisclosed fee. Now, it does appear to be... I would probably say about like 1.3 million or something. Now, the 24-year-old former Brighton fullback says he cannot wait to get going. That's what he told Blues TV. It came about quite quickly, but I felt that it was too good an opportunity to pass on. The ambition of the club is really exciting, especially for a young player that, like me, wants to go as far as I can in football. Now, some people may refer to like Connor Goldson um, when I turned around and said, well, you know what, actually, Birmingham... A League One tied, tied, side, signing a player for the third best team in Scotland. Well, what about the second best team in Scotland? I have to just admit it, don't I? I mean, I can't gloss it up and pretend that we're not. We're fucking shite right now, Rangers. But Conor Goldson's different. I mean, he, I think he's getting frozen out, but who knows what Clement's got in store this transfer window. But I think Alex Cotton was a um, decent player for Hearts. I'm not going to pretend he was anything, you know, Great, but uh, I mean, yes, yeah, so BBC Scotland have reported earlier in the week that the relegated Blues would pay a fee of 1.3 million with add ons for Cochrane, who had entered the final year of his contract at Tyne Castle Park. So, Hearts head coach Stephen Naismith was expecting him to lose, lose him after having to leave him at last Saturday's 2 1 friendly defeat by Leighton Orient. Again, Hearts can beat by Leighton Orient, that's piss poor. I mean, I know it's friendlies, but that's not good. But here, They've recouped a bit of money there, but they've lost a good player. I think it'll be very hard to replace them. But moving on to our second piece of pressing business. And Motherwell fans, don't get too depressed. Obviously, you're jubilated. I'm watching you tonight. But Motherwell complete T.O. Bear sale to Auxerre. Um. So, right, let's talk about it. Motherwell have completed the sale of Canadian striker T.O. Bear to Auxerre. I think that's how you pronounce them. Oh, you? Oh, you? The 24 year old played in all 38 league games for Marwell last season after leaving Scottish Parish at rival St Johnson, scoring 15 goals. And for St Johnson, he barely scored any. Um, obviously, though, they finished fourth in the, um, the Copa America. They got beat by Uruguay. He did win his uh, third ca Canadian cap over there. Um, you know what? His form from Marwell done him well because it actually got him promoted to the national side for the first time in four years. So, doing quite good to you, but it's a big, it's a big miss. I mean, you, you know, losing 15 goals when you're like a bottom half side, you're going to notice that. And I think they are going to notice that. Definitely. Um, and speaking of pitches, let's end with this one. So Dundee have actually moved cup games to protect new pitch. A lot of Dundee fans were giving it to Rangers pretty big over the past couple of days. And you know what? Rightfully so. Rangers get stuck into them and Rangers, well, it's not really Rangers' pitch. It's more, you know, materials. But end of the day, whatever the excuse is, the games can't be fulfilled. But Rangers aren't really letting anyone down, are they? You know, it's not like Rangers are saying with like 10 seconds to kick off, the players rooting the pitch. And like, oh, no, nope, we need to bring the digger on. That digger needs the day's work. No, they're not doing that. So, you know, you can definitely spin it whatever way you want. So, all these cup games are getting moved. I'll tell you what, what other games are on the cup tonight. A lot of, a lot of interesting ones. And um, there's the one. Uh, Group G, Montrose, Marwell. So, if you want to check out that vlog, guys, that'll be uploaded later on on the channel tonight. Shall be an interesting one to say the least, but um, in the meantime, I'm going to Mont wander around Montrose and see what all the fuss is about, although I'm not too sure there is much fuss to be honest, I mean it seems alright, I'm not going to bash it too much man, it seems like a nice wee place, anyway, until next time, peace.